Our little square of America, McHenry County, has seen tremendous development in the past 60 years. Of the many longtime residents who have witnessed that progress, perhaps no one has seen more of the change firsthand than Don Peasley. Don moved to the area in 1947 and has worked here as a journalist for the past seven decades, seemingly always where the news was with his camera in hand. Please join me as I spend the next few minutes talking with Don about the moments behind some of his better-known photos. There's been a lot of uh, political Night. people <clears throat> that have come through over the years, and you want to talk about, uh, about that photo? Yes, that? and one of the first to come was Adlai Stevenson, governor of the state of Illinois, 1952, Woodstock Centennial. You can see him with Mayor Jim Cooney, and uh, he was very dapper and quite, uh, quite uh, professional as a, as a politician, as a leader in that particular time. Oh yes, Geraldine Page came to Woodstock with the Woodstock Players in 1948. And at that time, on this very Opera House stage, people said, there's going to be a star. And they certainly were right. Soon after she won her uh, made her debut in Hondo. She came to the Woodstock Opera House, especially to go with, sit with this young couple, help, just to give them publicity, to help them on the stage. And you'll notice the background is the curtain with the names of advertisers on the, uh, on the background. Quite interesting. That's that was restored and kept uh, for many, many years after that. That's amazing. Yeah. Tremendous ball players have made their way through McHenry County over the years. Yes. Too, a photograph. But, Yes, we had one going from McHenry County, Chuck Hiller, to play in the major leagues. But this is a very special photograph. Jackie Robinson, Gene Baker, our dear coach, Tony Roski, and one of my all-time favorites, Ernie Banks. Here in 1957, December 1957, for a fundraiser for the Woodstock Children's, Children's Home. They were wonderful. They, they met with people, talked around. It was a great thrill. To meet, uh, to meet Jackie Robinson, and of course to have Ernie Banks come back to town. The first president that I believe you had the opportunity to sh shoot was um, George Herbert Walker Bush. Well, I, I shot, yes, uh, George Herbert Walker Bush. Um, I took this photograph, and he was, came to McHenry County in uh, 1988. He was vice president at the time, and he was campaigning to run for president. Of course, that beautiful woman with him is his wife, Barbara. This was at McHenry County College. It was a tense, uh, tightly controlled situation. Where am I going to get a picture of them? I saw the bleachers there. I said, maybe they're going to set the microphone up there. Maybe if I crawl up on the bleachers and get up there with them, uh, I can get above the crowd. I got lucky, and I got a great smile, a great picture. Star of uh, stage and screen and the television. Uh, Marie Osmond, Marie Osmond. Uh, this. It was, she was at the McHenry County Fair. McHenry County Fair has been one of my great joys in covering and reporting the 4-H and what we do there. Uh, and uh, Marie Osmond was, entertain, was an entertainer, and uh, this was in 1991. And she's beautiful, but this happened to be a, another interesting view of her. This is uh, Mickey Rooney with his wife. And uh, this was in 19, 2001. He's on this very opera house stage, and he uh, had a prompter, but he stood up here and did a great job. You'd never know he was reading what he was giving. It, was a, it must have been a two-hour entertainment. And he posed very nicely, with, met with people afterwards, and uh, was very gracious with, with folks. To meet uh, great fighter Jack Dempsey. Oh, yes, this great boxer. Uh, I was a kid when Jack Dempsey uh, was in the limelight after the long count. Wasn't very old. I just remember hearing about it, that, Dempsey and, and, and Tunney. And uh, so he got, came, to, came to town, to Woodstock, with uh, Bud Ost. Bud Ost is the man. He was Harvard, from Harvard. He was a big man in the Elks. So that's why he was uh, with her. I thought he, they looked a lot alike, frankly. <laughs> and, uh, what he, year was this? Do you, do, you, do you recall about what year that was? In the middle 1960s. Okay. Yeah, it was the middle 1960s. At that time, they were having celebrities come on a regular basis, fundraising events. And it was fun to meet Jack and to hear him. I, I was a great admirer of him. You know, Don, I, mean, I think one of the, the real charms of the photographs that you've taken over the years is the the uh, relationships that you've had with the people in the photos and your understanding of them. You want to tell me a little bit about, about these people and why that was such a... Well, this great big man you see on the left is Emory 
Tiny Hansman. Tiny was the Woodstock Chief of Police. Uh, with him is Chester Gould, creator of Dick Tracy. And uh, they got the idea of starting a Dick Tracy fan club called the Crime Stoppers in Woodstock. And they would meet in the basement of the Woodstock City Hall, uh, which was the, this, this same building, the Woodstock Opera House. And, uh, and the, the boys would come in. Mostly at that time, as boys. They'd come in and he'd talk to them. Uh, they'd do some talk about uh, proper behavior and, and things to do. But uh, it, was a, it was a great hit. Uh, and of course, uh, Tiny was uh, very good. He, he was a kind of a policeman that walked around the square and talked to people more than riding around. Of course, he did ride his big motorcycle sometime. You sort of felt sorry for the motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> this, this photograph always, um, when I see it, it always makes me smile because it's a, a slice in time that's long since gone. When I set that up, I said to myself, Norman Rockwell idea. And that's sort of what I call it, my Norman Rockwell picture uh, with the... Uh, Richard Matthews family, the two, the two people in the foreground were 4 H members, mother and dad in the background. This is a, 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 a family at Huntley, and uh, they were very graciously posed out there. The cow, she was really very well behaved. Look at those ears, aren't they up nicely? Great. <laughs> this is maybe one of my favorite photos of all the <laughs> photos that you've taken. And, and Lloyd Birmingham was an outstanding radio uh, broadcaster, WBBM, for decades. And he broadcast in his later years uh, from his farm out in, in Vermont Road, uh, west of Woodstock. And uh, he brought guests in. Of course, as you can see, he, his guest uh, is a well-behaved. Uh, he didn't talk, didn't talk too much, but the farmer holding, holding the, his uh, guest uh, uh, did a good job of speaking for both of them. The championship won by the uh, Alden Heber and Green Giants. 1952-53 season. This is absolutely one of my f favorite photos, partly because I, I pictured the idea of doing it, going up above the basket, looking down. And one of the things I remember, the young men were so gracious to p to pose for me, and uh, they repeated this about uh, three years ago, uh, five years ago when we had the anniversary. I got them in the same order and did the same picture, a sobering situation. Young men preparing to head off for the Korean War at the Woodstock train station on a very uh, wintry day. I remember inside the building, the Red Cross uh, served uh, refreshments and donuts for the, for the men and for the family members who came to see them off, 1954. Photo, maybe uh, one of the more recent photographs that you've taken. Timely. This was a, a timely mo moment, January 31, 2005, soon after uh, uh, Obama had, Barack Obama had been elected to the, to the U.S. Senate. Jack Franks, the man on the left, um, who was a member of the House of Representatives, of course knew Obama from both being in the, in the House, and he talked him to come to Woodstock Opera House, and this was taken uh, backstage a few months before he came on this very stage and talked to an overflow crowd uh, in a great job. At the time, we said the way he talked, the way he handled himself, uh, his manner, his demeanor was just great. You know, Don, we've had the chance today to cover uh, quite a bit of ground and um, to look uh, at 60 plus years of your work. McHenry County photos. This is great. We've had some great opportunities right here in McHenry County, and I certainly enjoyed doing that. That was great. Well, Don, I just yeah. wanted to say thanks so yeah. much for sitting with us today. It was a true pleasure. I've always admired your work, and I think uh, sharing it with our audience today is, uh, is, is it's just a real honor. So it's, fun. it's fun going down memory lane. I enjoy it. I, I enjoy looking back at them uh, in the books and in the photographs, and uh, today these bring back many, many good memories. I got a few more thousand if you'd like to do some other time. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Thanks.